Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. So uh, this morning I would like to talk to you about the GR Yaris gearbox, the known issues about the gearbox and uh, how to see if your gearbox is good or not given the fact that you are experiencing some misshifts especially in third gear. So personally I experienced misshifts uh, going from second to third gear and basically almost only there and also a very bad uh, gear lever feeling since the car was new, since day one. I told Toyota about this, they did nothing about it, they couldn't even make this uh, uh, fact happen in their tests, but apparently I had to go all the way through having the cables changed throughout a year and in the end I got new cables and these cables broke and in that occasion I got the car uh, to be stopped in their service. So what happened then is I got them to open the gearbox and in fact the synchronizers and not only the third gear but also second gear and many other components within the gearbox were actually not uh, uh, appropriately spaced from factory and this was causing most of my problems. So now I got the car back, I got it all together and uh, I went to the track as you saw, as you've seen in my recent video and I experienced the problem again but in a reduced manner. So obviously the gearbox is okay now and also the feeling of the lever is much better than before but uh, I am having the same problem in a reduced manner. So this problem can only be given by the clutch, clutch cylinder and uh, let's say the hydraulic part or clutch pedal pump. So in order to narrow down the issue here, because otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do, is to try and properly bleed the clutch system. And there is only one way to do this because Toyota will not do this for you. So just let me reach down a moment and I'll show you what you will need. Okay, so you will need a 200 centiliter or 150 centiliter syringe, a 5 mil or 4 mil uh, internal diameter piece of tube, and if you manage, also a bleeder adapter. But this is, I mean, it makes your life a bit easier in some chances, but it's not a game changer. So let's get to it. Okay, so here I've already opened up uh, the, the, the bleed screw here in our reservoir for the brake fluid. And yes, as in most modern cars, these two reservoirs are shared between brakes and clutch. So what you want to do here is, first of all, be sure that you keep some fresh water next to you because uh, brake fluid is extremely corrosive so you want to use some proper um, uh, gloves on your hands and you want to have some water close to you because it's also extremely hydroscopic this means that when you pour water on brake fluid it just vanishes it goes away so you're not going to ruin anything as soon as you're going to pour water on top of where you spilled your brake fluid if you do spill any and uh, Another thing, you've got to do this immediately, obviously. I'm sorry, I, I'm saying the basics, but it's just to be sure that everybody's on the same plane. So, coming back to our reservoir here, as soon as you take the lid off, you will find that inside there is a little plastic part here. There is basically a small filter. So you want to rotate this and take it out. We're going to be putting it here just for the moment and the idea through using the syringe is basically uh, to push the fluid in from its bleeding screw so why do we do this we do this because when uh, you actually do the let's say traditional bleeding through the pedal what you can do is only this much excursion that is the pedals pump excursion and then you're gonna have to close the bleed screw, close the bleed screw. You're gonna have to pump the pedal again and do it once more. So since the oil tract between the pedal, the reservoir, and the bleed screw is long, 
what will happen is if you have air trapped in the middle there most likely either you're a super pro or you're gonna get some air stuck in that tract because you're only moving that much fluid every time instead with the syringe and the opposite you're gonna manage to forge urge the system completely in order to get away with all the air so <clears throat> first things first what i'm gonna do is give myself enough space in order to work therefore i'm going to take the oil out of my reservoir by using always my syringe so here we go i'm going to find the deepest point in the reservoir and i'm just going to pull it up so in my case this oil is new Okay, so I was saying in this case, this oil is new. So make sure you, you take the oil out, but you do not completely, you do not completely drain it, okay? So in my case, this oil has been changed like uh, less than 1000 kilometers. I use uh, Moto RBF 660. And it's a good point compromise between price and performance. I am not sponsored by them in any way. So just for you to know. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my bleeder helper up here once more. And now I've got a very dirty tube. So I'm gonna clean my gloves and the tube together in order not to get all this muck around my car, corrosive muck and liquid. So you see here, we've got about 150 mil and this, this is gonna be all right for our, our application. And once I'm gonna invert this uh, syringe, I'll be sure that I will get, be getting uh, nothing uh, down air-wise, air obviously. So now I have removed the filter box. In this case, we have a carbon, a dry carbon uh, uh, AJCS. Uh, filter that you can see here, but even the original air box is quite easy to take away. This is just faster, but this is not the point of the video. So what I'm going to do now is get ready with my eight millimeter socket ratchet. And I'm going to place it in place here. Now I'm going to put my bleeder on so you want a nice snug fit with your bleeder yeah that's it so i don't know if you can see it right now so now i'm gonna tip my syringe around there you go and I'm gonna enable the air to come through back up. You see? See what I'm doing? This way. Oh yeah. So let's just make sure it's all nice and clean. So there's a little bit of air still trapped in here, but in this manner, yeah. We've got like 99.9% .9 of the air out. So we've got a full, a full tract. I'll make sure the bleeder cap is on perfectly again. And then, yeah, we're at it. So it's time to open the bleeder screw and let's pump it in. And you can see from the reservoir now.
that the oil will come up from the reservoir. And here we are. So, uh, sorry for the interruption of the video, but uh, actually the, the tube we were using after the syringe uh, had a little uh, perch in it, so some oil came out and I had to rush with the water and clean it all up and change the tube. So ultimately we did uh, the bleed, it's super easy and uh, yeah, I may suggest uh, using medical grade tubing, there are brands like Tigon and so, uh, four millimeter internal diameter usually does it, five mil can work depending on, uh, on what you are bleeding, if it's the brakes or the clutch that is a bit smaller as a nipple. Uh, yeah, you will see the, the air bubbles coming out of the reservoir as it fills up and this means you are getting the air out of your clutch system. So I have also tested the car uh, since when we did the bleeding and actually we have solved the issue so it's all working for us now and uh, therefore I can say that uh, my GR Yaris gearbox is 100% okay now that all the work has been done on it. So if you want to uh, troubleshoot your gearbox before going to Toyota and to be sure that let's say we can take the hydraulics out of the equation, okay this is a very easy way to do it and uh, let's say in half an hour tops of your time you're gonna have uh, the reply and see if, uh, if everything is working the manner it should. And if you do still experience mischiefs, well, this is a known problem. I've known at least uh, six other GRO owners that have this problem, and therefore you have to go to Toyota and you have to put your feet down uh, up to the fact that they're gonna have to repair your gearbox. So guys, this will wrap it up for today. Thank you very much for following me and please uh, like and subscribe this video so I will know to go on and create more content. Have a great day.